a Ginny Ruffner artist making art. <laughs> One who makes art that's an artist. It takes a lot of courage to call yourself an artist because it's very easy to say you make art. There's everybody says they make art probably because my degrees are in painting. My favorite artists, visual artists tend to be painters. Kandinsky, Miro, like Picasso, who was a bit of a jerk but a great artist. Probably most of all Marcel Duchamp. And you notice there's no women because there's a real, a real dearth of well-known women artists of the past. You probably name on one hand, which is really a shame, but hopefully things are changing. I think my role as a woman is to be the best I can be. And my, my role as an artist, my purpose as an artist, is to um, make people think, make them think about what they see, hopefully invite them, not bludgeon them to make them, but to invite them to think. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you asked. That's uh, my current favorite too. The 27 foot tall, uh, kinetic water feature at the corner of, it will be installed in the corner of 7th and Union. It's called the Urban Garden. What it is it a big flower pot with a watering can on top and every 15 minutes watering can tips and water, water comes down into the flower pot and the flowers open. Or there's one big yellow flower that just bends all the time. And there's a window in the side so you can see what's happening. Well, the flip answer to the best thing about being an artist is the dress code. <laughs> and the worst thing is when I, when I was in graduate school, I lived on the street with all the sororities and fraternities. So my bus line was always full of the sorority girls. I lived in an apartment that was not in a sorority. But I would come out of the, the painting department, and back then, it was before acrylics was invented, so everything was oil paint. So I'd, more than once it happened to some snippy girl in her, I thought, Oh, what is that stink? I smell turpentine. And it would be me, I would have turpentine all over me. And to this day, turpentine is a really nostalgic smell for me. <laughs> Feeling comfortable with yourself, what you're doing, where you're going, where you've been. Thinking, being aware, and thinking about what your life is, could be and what it is. And if you're comfortable with that, then you're successful. Oh, the best advice. I have two. One is take the high road. And the other is always price your work so you can't afford it. If you did it, you did it. If you didn't do it, it's in the past. That's the one thing about regrets is that they're always about something in the past. And I don't like to live 